So here's everything I know about motivation, how to stay motivated, how to be inspired in your life all the time, never ending. You ready for this? In a moment. Hey guys, welcome to another Paul Montalongo TV show. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you everything that I know about motivation, inspiration, how to stay on point, on task, on purpose. And everything that I'm about to tell you is something that I practice myself personally. And so uh, I'm a little bit um, nervous and giddy right now because in the office is one of our staff members. Uh, I'm filming this in the office and I usually don't film this in front of other people. I film it in front of myself or with myself or in front of a cameraman, but not one of our staffers. So Karen is over here. She's making me nervous right now, but we're going to get through this. Okay. Um, it's bringing a lightheartedness to this show. Um, to stay motivated, to stay inspired, to stay on point, on purpose, on task all the time, in my opinion, seems like a daunting thing to do. It seems like it's, it's just way out there because we're human and we go through moods. We go through events that affect our psychology. Things happen to us. You, you know, I have a friend who recently had a death in the family and, and she's just been like really, you know, reflective in a different space. Um, I have other friends who are having challenges in business and relationship, you know, I have challenges myself every day and to stay on point in this place of motivation is a work in progress. So in my opinion, my belief is that if one thinks that they're going to stay motivated and inspired all the time, then that's really not a real perspective. And in the famous uh, words of Jerry Seinfeld, Having said that, there are ways to be consistent in our motivation and consistent in our inspiration and what we want to do. So I'm going to just give you a few little bullet points that work for me and hopefully they'll work for you. And by the way, share the video, comment on the video on the bottom, what works for you, what keeps you motivated, what keeps you inspired, what keeps you going on a daily basis. So for me, in no particular order, um, I, I've always got to check my physical well-being. Am I eating properly? Am I getting in my yoga? Am I getting in my exercise? Uh, am I sleeping enough? Um, am I getting the proper rest? Uh, am I taking a moment just to not do anything? Uh, my physical well-being is something that I have to check in with all the time. Next, emotional well-being. So, you know, what are the thoughts that are consistent in my head? What are the thoughts that are consistent in your brain? What are the feelings, the emotions, the intuitions that you have that surface on a regular basis? What's that consistent thing that you think about that affects your emotional well-being, your emotional stability? Um, also, it's like, when considering your emotional well-being, being, uh, what are the experiences that you've had that affect where you are today? And what are the experiences that you want to have that affect where you are today? So your emotional well-being, um, your relational well-being. So we're all in relationship with someone or many, many people in business, in love, in marriage, in family, we have relations, multiple relationships. So are we honoring our agreements? Are you uh, keeping your word? Uh, for me, I check regularly, am, am I being in a place of being present with my relationships? It's not always easy because, you know, I've got a zillion things on my mind all the time that are just racing. But when I'm having a conversation with someone, either by phone or in person, can I stay present with that person so that I get really what they're saying, really what they're about, make them feel heard, no, let them know that they're feel heard, feel uh, that they are heard, let them know that um, they're valuable to me in the relationship. And by doing so, this keeps my ability to be in a relationship 
in a nurtured state. And so that improves the state of being, the motivation, the inspiration to live the life that we live. Um, the other thing that I find really, really important for me, and I want to share with you, is what do you do on a consistent basis to feed your mind, your intellect, your heart? What are those things that you do? Uh, here's a picture of my reading area in my home. You'll notice that it's comfortable and uh, that it uh, has a number of books there. And I'm not reading all those books at this point, at this time, I'm reading just a couple of them. The one that I'm really into right now is The Four Desires by Rod Stryker. Pick it up, it's a great book. It talks about the four critical desires according to ancient yoga, Sanskrit, and uh, yoga practices. And how we find our purpose, our dharma, how we find how to get to that purpose, our sankapala, sankalpa, and uh, anyway, the four desires. So what are you doing to feed your soul? You can feed your soul through reading, you can feed your soul through videos, you can feed your soul through uh, um, inspiration audios, podcasts, by having com deep conversations with other people who are in the same space as you are uh, uh, emotionally, who are emotionally intelligent. What do you do to feed your soul? It can be, uh, uh, getting involved in the arts, it can be involved getting involved in music, something that's going to nurture you to allow you to maintain the motivation. Um, and the final thought I have about motivation is motivation in itself is great. Motivation works when you're inspired. Inspiration is great when you know your purpose, when you know the real reason why you exist on this planet. And for me, for my understanding of the purpose for us being on this earth, in this lifetime, at this time, it's more than about you know what I do, how much money I can make, how many things I can acquire. It's much, much more than that. For me, it's a state of being. It's a, it's a way of living. It's a set of values a set of core values by which my life is led every day. So get in touch with your core values, live to your core values. This will give you the, the reinforcement of your purpose, which will bring you inspiration, which will keep you motivated. Check all of those things and live a life of motivation, live a life of inspiration, live a life of purpose that actually influences others that actually helps others on this planet. I hope you've liked this video. Please comment below uh, about what motivates you, what inspires you, what is your purpose. Like the video, share the video, and if you'd like a free strategy session with me, go to paulmontalongo.com slash strategy. Get on my calendar. I'm happy to offer you a free 30-minute uh, coaching consultation. Go out and make it a fantastic weekend. And thank you, Karen, for watching. <laughs> so I told you that Karen was watching the last video. And here is Karen. Can, can, I don't know if they can see in the camera. There you go. Okay. So, so Karen's listening to the video and she makes a great point, great feedback. She, her percent, well, you, you say, you tell, 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 tell the group. Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. My perspective is, um, Paul is my boss and he's a little bit older than me. And his perspective to you all is wonderful. And I just mentioned him the perspective of other people in different scenarios, like myself. I'm a mother of three, um, you know, of three young children, um, striving to make them better people and doing all their activities. And then also a wife that's trying to take care of the household. Or other people that are just 20, 21 year olds that are just getting out of college or high school, deciding on their careers what would motivate them? And I just mentioned to him, maybe you should touch on that perspective also. Okay, great, stay in, stay in the frame there, okay? okay? So they can see you. <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way. That's, I, I really appreciate that. Feedback is so valuable. So yeah, uh, just my initial thoughts are that regardless of the stage you are in your life, um, and I, you're right, I've been through all those stages, yes, right? Yes, of course, yeah, yes. You have. <laughs> I've been through all those stages, <laughs> and I wish I knew then what I knew now, right? Yes. Because I didn't know anything then, right? But regardless of the stage you are in your life, I think there's a group of things that you can do to stay motivated. Like your huge purpose as a, as a mother, a wife, three children, your, your kids are teenagers. Yeah. Oh, 
eight-year-old. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. At, in that set of circumstances, like you have this huge purpose, yeah. right? To mold and shape these children to influence them in a way so that they're responsible, productive, um, well-behaved, mannerly <laughs> um, uh, uh, adults contributing to society in their own way. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. So, yes. I mean, in my view, look, I'm the eldest of eight kids. My mom is like superwoman because of raising all these kids. That's the highest purpose on the planet, really, because you're in charge of three humans who need direction right now. Yes. Right? So. And a husband. And, <laughs> and you're in charge of a husband that needs direction right now. <laughs> How many of you ladies are in charge of a husband that needs direction? Okay. Uh, all of you, I know, right? So, but yeah, that's that keeping that in mind, you know, like when you have a moment of emotional or mental letdown, the minute I'm going to ask you, what do you do to, to snap back into that, um, to a place of inspiration? Um, just, you know, my purpose right now, I feel like in my state of life, life is the three children and making sure they do their homework to make sure they're um, academically doing good, make sure they're also going into sports and making sure that, you know, that they have healthy friendships and healthy, healthy relationships. Mark and I, they can come to us and talk. I don't try to shield them from everything. I shield them from some stuff, but I want them to be understanding what the world we live in today. Mm. So my purpose right now in my stage of life is the three, three children. Mm -hmm. And um, I come to work two days a week to escape being that person, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is unusual. Yeah. Most of the time it's the opposite. Yeah. For me. By the way, Karen's always happy. I've never seen her <laughs> not happy. Okay. So whatever she's doing is working, right? Um, what do you do to take care of yourself? Um, so that, that you much. can take care of these kids? Not that much. Really? What yeah. would you like to do to take care of yourself? Um, I feel like I do what I need. Um, I try to do walks occasionally. I go get massage um, once a month for myself. Um, and try to get together with friends occasionally, but it's not as much as you want. But I know, you mm -hmm. know, this is just a short period of time in my life that I have to dedicate to them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes, <laughs> and I hear that so frequently from. Uh, parents with with children your age you know it's like they're so focused on doing the right thing by re rearing your children to be responsible adult i like what you said about about teaching them in the world that we live right now because yes. we're a little bit age different <laughs> yeah. okay a little bit <laughs> but the world was different oh yeah the world was different yes right and the world is different for them so yeah adapting to that that's that's really great so I know, I know because I know you that you're doing a great job. So <laughs> she's doing a great job raising these kids to be uh, responsible adults. So congratulations. But yeah, I appreciate your feedback. And, and for young people, the other, the other comment was for young people, let's say you're in college, you don't have to go anywhere. Don't be scared of the camera. <laughs> I know the camera's a very frightening thing. I know. <laughs> but you know, um, uh, I have two sons. One, one is uh, uh, mid 30s and the other was late, th late 20s, 29 years old. And uh, so the, the older son is, you know, involved with my new granddaughter. The younger son is he's still out there uh, in the world making his own way. But young people today, it's really the same principle in my view. It's like, what's your purpose? Who are you going to be? How are you going to interact with other people so that you can establish yourself as a good human being? Really? I, I mean... Let's not overcomplicate this, yeah. right? It's like we just need to be good human beings with other good human beings. So, yeah. um, no, I really appreciate your feedback. I was nervous that you were sitting yeah. over. <laughs> okay, so thank you very All much. Right, All right, yeah. that's Karen, y'all. Give her a hand. Make sure you like the video with Karen, and we'll see you another time. Mm -hmm.